build up 34 blocks high. Then we're going to make this large drain hole, which is essentially a 6 by 6 hole with the corners cut in. It's hard to explain, so just watch the uh, shape and you'll get the idea. See, so we're going to make a giant plus with um, a couple extra corner knobs there. Now we're going to fill in the sides with wooden trap doors and we'll close those. That way the water will hang over the edge like a blade and help flush the spiders. The reason this drain hole has to be this big is because two spiders can start bumping heads and never fall in. Now we're going to add six blocks to the sides of our plus shape in every direction. And then, after we've made it six blocks wide, we're going to add we're going to add a temporary block on the end and stack on top of that. We're going to start our first diamond shaped drop off right here. This is the first one and so the side gaps are too wide. When you get that all done, you have a shape like this. And now you have to go underneath and fill in all the floors. There's the first floor done. And there's all of them. So you should have a shape like this right now. Now we're going to add six more blocks to the inner portion of that leg. I don't know how to explain it. But from the gap, we add enough blocks where essentially we're going to make these points. And those are going to be marker blocks for our next row of drop-off. Now those are the four points, and now we're going to work on the sides. The sides um, don't need to be as long because we're going to have our outer wall uh, at the end here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we repeat this all the way around. Okay, so you get this uh, funky shape like that. All these upper blocks are our marking points, and we're going to start our next diamond shape drop off. We're going to start our pattern from the point and not from the side, because these sides are going to have a four wide gap on the end when we get completed. When we start our diagonal from the middle point, uh, we don't run the mistake of building it one block too far, and so you have to have that gap right there. We're going to do this all the way around. Until we get a shape like this. And now we have to fill in all those uh, little triangles there. So we get a completely full floor. Now you see the outside walls, uh, the upper drop-off has a four-wide gap, and the other, the lower drop-off has a two-wide gap. Let's fill in all these floors. Okay, now we have a shape like this. Every drop-off should be seven blocks long, except for the last drop-off. Since this is the uh, outer wall, we're going to add a layer on top of our sides and go all the way around and just square it off. Once we get all the corners done, this will be our perfectly square pattern. 
Now we can start our last level of drop-offs, which is essentially four more individual pads. We're going to repeat the pattern again. We're going to start from the block that starts at the gap, and we're going to add eight, the eighth one being temporary, so actually the water only travels seven blocks. Now use the other side and uh, make another marker block, I guess you could call it. And that'll mark where we need to start our diagonal for our final drop. And repeat that, of course, for all four sides. Okay, now you should have a shape like this. And of course we have to fill in all the floors again. You can kind of see the inverted pyramid here. Now I just grab some stairs and put one rim around the top layer there. And these are the stairs that are going to hold the water in. Slabs look kind of cool too. They work just as long as it's a non-spawnable surface. The rest will be water. The edges will be something that mobs can't spawn on. And if you've built everything right, the water should overhang the trap doors. fill in all four corners so you only need you know four source blocks of water to do this uh, fairly large surface area funnel and any mob that falls in there is caught and they're going to flush down the center hole so it's certain doom for anything that touches that water here's our overhang the blade now the reason we have to go, go extra blocks high is because sometimes that water blade will hang on to a mob and their feet are actually two blocks lower before it starts taking fall damage. Here's the top view of our completed funnel. And in the next video I'll work on these spawning pads.